Oh my god, there's a wasp in my house. And what do I do? Shoot. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Shelly and this video is just gonna be like a little get ready with me for church. It's Sunday morning slash like a little little morning vlog. Not like a morning routine, but I figured I would go ahead and start filming because I'm making a coffee right now. So I have my glass. I just brewed my shot and I also just remembered that I had this heavy whipping cream in my fridge. And I also have vanilla, so I figured I could make some like vanilla cold foam to go on top of my coffee. And yeah, I'm just gonna make a latte. Should I make a latte or a cold brew? I'm gonna make a latte because I already brewed the shot. Okay, too late now, I can't, can't change it. Okay, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make the cold foam. I'm just gonna do a little. So to make cold foam, you just do equal parts heavy whipping cream and equal parts milk whatever milk you want to use you could even probably use creamer and then you also put in some vanilla syrup and then you take a little whatever this little thing is this one is from earth echo but you can literally get these from anywhere you can get them off of amazon and then you just do this i'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do this at this point but this is like the best hack or like recipe, it's not a hack, it's a recipe. <laughs> it's the best thing to do ever because people love the Starbucks, you know, cold foam vibe, but you can literally get it at home. Mmm, that's good. Okay, so for my latte, I'm gonna do some milk. Someone from work the other day was telling me that they were watching my TikTok where I was making a latte and they were like, you put like so much milk in your coffee. I was like, guys, it's a latte. It's mainly milk, which was just like so funny. My shot of espresso and I need a straw, hold on. I use my pink straws from Amazon, obviously. I'm obsessed with my pink glass straws. But I've never done cold foam on top of a latte before. I don't know if that's gonna be weird. I usually would do it on like a cold brew, so. I don't know if that's gonna be weird or not. Mm, need some more like something. It's not very sweet. Okay, that's better. So, cold foam. It's very foamy. Whoa. Very foamy. Okay, let me try this. Oh my gosh, I don't need the straw. Do not need the straw, I'm gonna drink it just like this. This is amazing. I forgot how good at home cold foam is, but this is hitting right now. I bake 400. I got these hash browns from Trader Joe's and they're amazing. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna eat two of them this morning, so while this is preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready. I decided to sit my camera up right here in the living room and I'm gonna get ready right here at this desk that I still have not moved out of the living room. I've got to move it, but like I low key like using it as a table. Like, cause I don't have a coffee table right now. So every time I eat, like sometimes when me and Richard eat, we won't eat in the um, kitchen, like at the table. We'll just move this like desk right up to the couch and start eating right there. And like, I've been doing my makeup right here at it in front of this window. And it's so fun, like I enjoy it. But I thought about getting like a little actual table and I've got to move the desk. Like it's definitely not gonna stay here. But it is like such a nice little thing. Like I'm enjoying it. 
there's a freaking wasp in here, y'all. It's like on my window right in front of me. I've never really been the type of person that's like really scared of like wasps or bees. But like, I don't want it in my house. It's definitely gonna die though, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's by itself and it's just chilling on this window. There ain't no telling how long it's been chilling there. I used to use a different moisturizer for my face. I can't remember the one I was even using, honestly. But anyway, then I started using this Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. Is it even for your face? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it says apply daily all over body slash face to hydrate skin. I usually don't like to use stuff like that that's like face and body i like to use stuff that's specifically for your face because obviously more sensitive but anyway the moral of the story is i ran out of my old lotion and then i have that so i was like let me just use that for the time being and i've used it for months now like i actually really enjoy it so it kind of took some getting used to i feel like every time i change lotions which is very rare it takes some getting used to just because like the texture is different and stuff Oh, there went the oven. Let me go put those hash browns in. Hold on. Okay, I just put on the microwave timer for seven minutes because I have to flip the hash browns after seven minutes. So there's just gonna be a lot of beeping going on in this video, but it's okay. I don't. It's not even gonna take me seven minutes sitting right here. Okay, <laughs> I literally just said I wasn't scared of the wasp and then I flinched when I saw it. Now it's on my TV. So that's amazing. But I'm just gonna do like a little bit of makeup. Just a little bit. Lately, I have been going back to my old ways, which like on a daily basis, I'll just wear like mascara, obviously. But I used to never even do anything other than that. But then like I had been doing like concealer, I put like some flawless filter on. And lately, I have not been doing that, and I've loved it. Like I've just, been, I just feel like less is more on my face. Sometimes when I put on like flawless filter or just like really anything, okay, I have a full unibrow. Um, I just feel like I look worse, and I don't know why that is. Like I literally feel like I look worse when I have makeup on, except for mascara. And lately, my mascara has been kind of getting on my nerves, too, because it's been, like, flaking. But I thought about dyeing my eyelashes. I saw on TikTok that this girl used men's beard dye, which I'm not going to do that because I feel like that's a little bit dangerous for your eyelashes. I don't want to use anything too strong for my eyelashes. But I thought about ordering like some lash dye, like a lash tint, so that I could just like tint my own lashes at home and just like dye them black. Because my eyelashes are super, super blonde. But if I had black eyelashes, I would never wear mascara and then I would never wear makeup. Um, but this is like a huge dry patch. I've got like dry patches on my skin right now. They're not pimples. Well, this was, was an old pimple, which it's like flat now but this these are dry patches like almost like it's giving an eczema vibe but i don't think that's what it is it's just like a dry patch i don't really know but anyway so i'm gonna do a little concealer i just did a little concealer and do some powder underneath the concealer i always get super oily right here right here and like on my forehead and tonight when i get home i will be plucking slash shaving my unibrow. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of powder right there just because I get just oily and I love this powder. This powder actually like gives a smoothing effect to your skin, I swear. I used to not think powder did anything but this powder gives a smoothing effect. I wish I would have shown y'all a little before and after right then but if you had the, the Charlotte Tilbury powder then you, you already know how it is, it's like amazing. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to, this is another thing I've been loving lately, it's just like a clear brow gel and actually doing something to my brows, 
and like just making sure they are brushed. I used to just use like a dry kabuki, not kabuki, a dry wand, like brush thing, like a mascara wand. But it's kind of nice to have just like a clear gel. And I really need to leave in about 10 to 15 minutes, probably about 15. I also um, plugged up my straightener and my curling iron in there. I don't know what I want to do with my hair yet. I washed it last night for the first time since I got it cut. And call me crazy, but I feel like it's grown a little bit. I don't know. My hair is very, very thick. Like, you can probably tell, like, at the bottom, it's just thick. And I like the short hair. But the reason I did it isn't necessarily to get a short hair vibe. It was more just for the health of my hair. And, um, like, it's just thick. So, to me, it looks weird. Like, I feel like it would look better longer, obviously. But it will grow, obviously. It's just hair. But I don't want to put a bunch of heat on my hair. But I also feel like because it's short and just, like, thick, it needs something. Like, it needs some heat or... I don't know what it needs. I don't want to straighten it. I don't like straightening my full hair just because I feel like it looks flat. I don't like flat hair, which my hair right now looks like I've been teasing it and I have not been teasing it. I haven't done anything to it. So I don't know. I, I'm in like a battle with my hair right now. And the only reason that I'm weird about putting heat on it is because I'm literally doing this for the health of it. I'm taking a little um blush right now and i'm just gonna put it on with my finger but i just don't want to like damage my hair any further and i'm gonna use heat on it like obviously but i'm just trying to pick and choose when i do use heat on it i'm just not used to it still like every time i look in the mirror i have like a mini mini identity crisis Literally sometimes like I'll be sitting at home and I'll be by myself in my house and I just think to myself like I love it here like I love living here I'm so happy I just it's so peaceful living here and it's just like so fun and I just think sometimes I look around and I'm like I'm by myself I can do whatever I want like I don't have a husband, I don't have any kids, and I just love it. Like, it's so nice. And I and the reason that I, I feel like I'm feeling like that is just because I know that the time in my life is approaching where I'm gonna be married and I'm gonna have kids. So I've been really taking in the moments that are just like very peaceful. I'm going a little crazy with the blush. Okay, let me go flip them hash browns. Ooh, I just sneezed. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of bronze in my eyes. And then I'm going to put on mascara. And be done with that. Be done with the makeup. And then I'm going to figure out this hair situation. Like, I don't know whether or not to not put any heat on it at all right now. Also, my, my hair wash schedule is really, really messed up because... Oh my gosh, it's so messed up and I'm so annoyed about it. But basically, um, I got my hair done on Saturday of last week and like washed it and cut it and everything. Got it done last week. Then I was like, well, I'll wash it on Friday. And then I was like, well, I have to work all day on Saturday. So like maybe I should just put it up in a ponytail and wash it Saturday night. So it'll be good for Sunday, which is exactly what I did. But now it's like Sunday... I work Monday and I leave for my trip to go to Florida slash Disney World on Tuesday. So ideally what I would have liked to do was wash my hair like the day before I left on that trip. So I wouldn't have to wash it at all on the trip. But now I washed my hair early. So now my schedule's messed up. Do you see what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. I'm so excited for 
this trip to Florida because I feel like I have not been on a trip in so long. And y'all know I love my little trips. And my family really hasn't been on a trip in a minute, I feel like. But this is gonna be a fun one. I'm very excited. I haven't been on a plane. When's the last time I've been on a plane? Hmm. I feel like maybe for my friend Lana's bachelorette trip when she went to Texas, when we went to Texas. Okay, makeup is done. Now, honestly, do I even need to do anything? Do I even need to put heat on it? Because I could easily just put it up in the clip and not put any heat on it. Because like I said, I'm trying to limit and it's like if I'm gonna have to rewash my hair and put heat on it again now that my schedule's messed up, should I just leave it alone and leave it like this? I feel like I should because there's just no need to put more heat on it. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna change and then um, the hash browns will be ready. I'm so freaking hungry, I'm ready to eat. That is so good. All right, I'm good on time. It's 9.36, I wanted to leave at 9.50. Oh my gosh, I'm early. I'm doing good. I don't know what to wear. It's like kind of warm outside today, so I'm not sure. I think I might do like a little dress. Okay, I just put on my little dress and it's really long. It's like a Sarah Plain and Tall type vibe. But I'm putting on all my jewelry right now and I'm obsessed with this necklace. Like literally I've worn it every single day since I got it. Stunning, stunning. This necklace is from Lane Woods Jewelry. These bracelets are J. Crew, and then my earrings are about to be the classic Maybell hoops that everyone knows and loves. Oh, I'm out of breath right now, but this is the fit check, and I'm obsessed with this dress and like all the gold jewelry. The dress is like really long. Shoes are from Dolce Vita. Dresses from J. Crew as well, and it has pockets. And it's just like a cute little spring vibe. But I've got to tell y'all about this necklace because I just think it is so simple and beautiful. My mom has a necklace really similar to this that my dad got her from a local jewelry store. But it was like a real diamond and it was really expensive and I didn't want to like have to pay for that. But I wanted something that had a similar look. So I found this one. It's from Lane Woods Jewelry. I will link it down below. I'll put their website down below. And I also have a code with them. It's Shelly15. But I'm pretty sure this is a Mossonite. And they have like lab created gems. And they're absolutely beautiful. If y'all look at their wedding ring engagement band wedding band engagement ring whatever if y'all look at that section on their website it literally looks like Hailey bieber rings like they are gorgeous and you have like the option to have a similar look as her rather than having a diamond you could do like a moss and I or something for an example but yeah i will link this company down below because they're super affordable beautiful stuff i'm pretty sure i have a couple of rings from them as well and oh my gosh i'm obsessed if you're married and you already have a diamond but you want like a really beautiful diamond gold band check the link i'm telling you and use my code they have beautiful stuff okay this is the full fit the sun like totally went behind a cloud for some reason fit check i'm obsessed with these heels the whole fit is giving Sarah Plain a tall, but in the best way possible. So, anyway, time to go. Okay, hash browns. Mmm. Stunning. Stunning. Okay, I'm gonna end off the video right here. I hope y'all enjoyed getting ready with me this morning and spending a little Sunday morning with me. I'm gonna go to church. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.